Hey everybody, it's Edmund Vanderbilt with another episode of Once Around the Block. I'm here with the one, the only... Svetlana. Svetlana, what's going on? Um, nothing, just working, you know, working. living. Should we walk? Yeah, let's Sorry, walk. let's walk. Work and living life. Yeah. What else is there? What else is there, right? You're right, you, you pointed out, you, you mentioned earlier... Yeah, let's go around this way. Yeah. You mentioned earlier There's your dress. Trips. I'm going to do just a quick thing about your dress, because... How lovely. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a scorcher in Washington, D.C. Yes, it is. And you were talking about how nice it is to... We both have a lot of hair. We have a lot of hair. You, you have more than I do. You've been, you've been more blessed. <laughs> but, uh, but it's a challenge. Well, we're, making we're, we're making do. We're making do. You, you, yes, very well. Very well so. You were telling me your dress brings a little, little joy to your, to your day? Yeah, you know when you're like, very busy and you just want to sort of put on like some glorified sweatpants and a t-shirt and go and just type all day? Yeah. It's important. You know, to like totally. put on an outfit. Yeah, like, they say. I'm going into the world. World. I, be I'm ready, ready for you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we were just talking about where we are right now. You guys yeah. moved into an office space. So who's you guys? Who's Svetlana? Is there? Yeah, yeah. so us guys is BYT, Bryce Young Things, um, which I don't know, maybe people know, maybe people don't know. I, yeah. can, I can do a little. You know, do, do, do a little spiel, yeah. yeah I, do my, I do my usual. Okay, so. Can you talk you know, a little bit louder just yeah. in case? So we started out as an um, online publication. Yeah. Um, and now we also do a bunch of really cool events with cultural institutions. We work with Smithsonian, National Geographic, Kennedy Center, Library of Congress, places like that, very DC of right. us. And then we also um, do a bunch of creative consulting. So everything we do in-house for ourselves, we can do for other people. Awesome. Which is, so it's kind of like a three pocket media umbrella. Okay. And and you're in DC. This is where you, you grew the business. It That's started where we very grew small. The business, very small, you know. Yeah. Um, should I date myself and say that it started on my MySpace blog? Oh my god. What is so, that? Maybe some of the viewers won't even know what that is. I know. If you were born in the 90s, stop watching. No, <laughs> kidding. Um, no, it started 11 years ago. Wow. It's going to be 11 Time years flies. this year. Yeah. And eight years this year that I've been doing it full time. Wow, which is impressive. I, I'm kind of interrupting, but like, you, you started your dream, you started your own thing, right. and you got it to a point where you could do it full time. Yeah. So eight years ago, that was like a huge, uh, like a landmark moment, no? Where, where you took it well, full time. yeah, I feel like it wasn't necessarily like I was ready to do it full time, but it was important to make the jump. Right, because otherwise it might have just fizzled. Yeah, you know, you end up kind of doing something, it's, it's your passion, it's your baby, it's all the, all the things, right? right. Like it's, it's your dream. And then you have to, at one point, make a, if it takes off, you have to make a decision. Do I keep this as sort of just right. like a hobby, or do I try to make something? Right. Do we try to make something out of ourselves? Um, and so we kind of give ourselves a little bit of a window. Yeah. And I, every day I feel very lucky that it worked out. That's awesome. And has That's awesome. Obviously, like grown and changed and totally. adapted tremendously. If uh, I just think over the years, how many times you know, how many events, how many interviews, how many photos, things, your, yeah. your content, your content is constant, right? Yeah, we publish every hour on the hour. No way. Every day during oh my the God. workday. So we started nine and we ended five. Wow. Um, in DC and in New York, and then we also do a Chicago weekend guide as well. Okay. And have fully integrated gay content, which I feel like is important to mention. I, I feel, that being said, you, I, I don't know if they heard uh, what you finally integrated or most recently integrated. Yeah, so we obviously started here in, in DC, yeah. but uh, we are now in New York and in Chicago yeah. as well. Yeah. And then we are, and I always am very proud of this about us, is we are the one. DC publication with fully integrated gay content. Gay content, well. gay culture, fantastic. Yeah. Speaking of which, you had a pretty big event last weekend. Mm -hmm. Pride, okay. it was our ninth annual time. We partnered with Capital Pride on their, um, on the official weekend kickoff. It's like a 3,000 person, uh, just like explosion yeah. of love and glitter. That's fantastic. I saw some it. photos, it looked very joyous, very colorful. Yeah. It is one of our favorites because it is, you know, pure love. Like the party is just pure love. There's right. No, nothing bad can happen at that event because, <laughs> like, it's it's such like a definitive celebration. Yes. 
And the pageantry, very high levels of pageantry. Sure, and I, yeah, it's it's growing every year, no? Getting more and more. Yeah, I mean, it, essentially the only problem this party has is that like, DC doesn't necessarily have like room for like a party that's bigger than like right. 30, 3,500 3, people. Uh-huh. <laughs> right? Right. Like a, if only. <laughs> um, so, most of the locations, you know, the, the party is actually kind of like limited by the capacity wow. that comes out every year. So does, does, does DC need a venue that can host? Is that something that's Maybe. really missing? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Or can you get away with doing like multiple locations or stuff? Yeah, I mean, obviously Pride takes over the entire city. Yeah. This is just kind of like a need for that like one central location yeah. on Friday before it happens. Okay. I'm going to move on just because the block is yeah. going so fast. Um, we're tall, right? We're walking fast. Well, we're normal. We're, we're like walking at a, a comfortable pace, I would say. We're walking at a comfortable yeah. pace. Good. You, you came from far away and you came to the States, right? Mm -hmm. um, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Um, I grew up in Eastern Europe, in okay. Serbia. Yeah. And I came here to go to school, uh, to go to architecture school okay. in Savannah, Georgia. Talk about like a... You know, total change, change of atmosphere, yeah. Total change of atmosphere. Savannah, Georgia, my goodness, Savannah, yeah. Savannah, Georgia. And then I came to DC, much like any other, you know, soon to be 23 year old, uh -huh. <laughs> as a, as, you know, in, in search for a job. For right, job. so job. is it like you got the creative kind of vibe, right? How, how did yeah. DC become a destination rather than more traditional? I mean, you know, I will say that originally we really, like, I treated it much like most people treated it's yeah. kind of like a starter city yeah right like this will be good then i'll get like a better job then i can afford to live in new york or oh, something okay. like that okay yeah the stepping usual. stone yeah um and then i think maybe like a year or two in um i was like this is great you know there's all this great stuff that i've kind of managed to sort of stumble around right onto um so what would make it greater is if like all this really cool stuff that is happening had like a way to grow and expand which is right. where BYT came from because right. back in the day there was no way to find out about anything unless it was in the Washington Post right. like Facebook invites right. didn't exist right crazy right like your friends had to email you about so, like a cool show what about the brightest young things name is that yeah so I went to high school in England yeah and it's meant to be funny which you know I feel like this point ever almost stop saying it. It's based on the Evelyn Vaughn novel, okay. um, Vile Bodies, and in it he refers to this group of people in 1920s London as bright young things, and these people just like in pursuit of pleasure. Right. And so when we started it, we wanted to do a kind of like a purposefully superficial uh -huh. project. Uh -huh. um, you know, like nothing useful, only things that make your life better. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so we thought that it would be like a good idea to kind of do a play on that. And so if it's the brightest, you know, it's the most superficial. It's just like beautiful things. Right. Nothing right. but beautiful things. Excellent. We've come we've come around yeah, the block already. Around it was very block. fast. Very fast. Um, I, I did this little bit called Words of Wisdom. Is there anything uh -huh. you wanna plug? Is there anything you wanna say? Uh, for the well, folks I mean, plug-wise, mm -hmm. we have we have some great events coming up. Yeah. Uh, we have a big Nedji event this Friday. Yeah. We have a great JFK Centennial with American History cool. on July 1st. Okay. It's the 10th year anniversary of Photo Week. This oh yeah, fall. excellent. Which is also something yeah. they started, right? Yeah, and Benson Ball, obviously the comedy festival is coming up. It's also like a busy few months Tons of leading stuff. up. Um, words of wisdom. I mean, my only advice always is to just like not give up. That's amazing. Do you want to say bye to the folks at home? Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot to say see you next time.